Converting splines and extended splines into NURB surfaces. So first, let's go and create uh, a spline and an extended spline. So I'm going to go over here into create, and I'm going to go to my shapes, and I'm going to go down to splines, and I'm going to pick one of these styles of splines. I'll pick the ellipse, and I'll just pick an ellipse there. And there we go. We have an ellipse spline. Next, we'll go with an extended spline. So I'm going to come over here to create, and I'm going to go to shapes, and I'm going to come down and say extended splines. I'm going to go with a T. And I'm going to pick a box shape, and then I'm going to let go, and I'm going to create the thickness of my T. And I'm going to right click, and now I have an extended spline in the shape of a T. Now, I have two ways in which I can convert this to a NURBS. First one is I just pick on the object, right click, and in my quad menu, I go down to convert to and convert to NURBS. And now I have this as being as both mathematically correct as I can be to be a complex shape. Next, I'm going to pick on my T. And I'm going to come over here in my control panel. In my control panel, I'm going to select right on the name of the object. Right click on the word T. I'm going to come down and say convert to NURBS. And now this object is a NURBS surface. And you can see. I pick on it, I have the NURB surface, I have the control, uh, the curve v, CV and the curve, and, and when I come over here and pick on this object, I have a NURB surface as well. So, so I can convert either a spline or extended spline into a NURB surface by right clicking and uh, convert to NURBS, which is I like the easiest, or I can come over to my command panel right click on the word like T or whatever it may be, an ellipse or whatever, and say convert to the NURBS option.